goes the quickie. Humans are actually pretty bad at risk assessment. Look at all the things that have near zero risk that we get all bent out of shape about. Natural gas, nuclear power, plastics, radiation, tiny amounts of ingredients in food, ozone and other forms of air pollution, mass shootings, vaping, opioids, all sorts of things. Whereas we spend a lot less time worrying about the high risks, heart disease, cancer, obesity, automobile accidents, and so on. Over decades, the Harvard Center for Risk Analysis has found consistently that we overestimate low risks and underestimate high risks. And this results in the screwed up regulatory system and the fear-mongering news media that we have today. We really are more afraid of the sudden things that go bang rather than the everyday high risks. Consider smokers. They generally start smoking without any real regard for the long-term health problems. And even when they get older, a lot of them just don't care. Here's a thought experiment. Let's say that the death toll from smoking was exactly what it is now, but instead of things like lung cancer and arteriosclerosis, it happened when cigarettes randomly exploded and blew the smoker's head off. Would people still be smoking if that were the case? Would they even start? Think about it. Even by the absurdly inflated statistics from the gun control nut bars, mass killings kill about 50 people a year. A hundred times as many people a year die from drowning in residential swimming pools, most of them children. Where's the outrage about that? Over a thousand times as many people die from the flu. Why aren't they shouting just as loud about people getting their flu shots? Over 6,000 times as many people die from obesity-related diseases like diabetes. But if you say that it's probably a good idea that overweight people lose some weight, they actually cry that you're fat-shaming! The high risks tend to be quiet ones, involving activities we engage in every day. When we get fearful and cry for regulation, it isn't about the numbers. It's about the rare occasions when something goes bang.